place. This is the lighting setup that I'm using. This and that. Looks good, huh? Philips Hue. Today has been a family day. It's been all about spending time with the family, hanging out and just um, having a good time. We went to a Halloween store together with Alex and then we was looking at a house. It was too expensive for our budget. I wanted to record a Q&A because I posted a question in on my Instagram. I think it was like in the beginning of the week, but I didn't get back to it. So now I finally got the time. 7.30 on a Saturday in my kitchen where it all began four years ago. Are you still exercising? Well, yes. Every other day. How does it feel to be making reels on Instagram? Honestly, I think it's quite fun. It's definitely challenging. It spurred my creativity in a way because I don't have to make a tutorial on every reel that I do. And as I talked about in yesterday's video, I think that is kind of the key to have fun with making videos. Why did you stop doing daily vlogs on your vlog channel? I love making the daily vlogs. Unfortunately, it takes a lot of time and there's a lot of you know investment that you have to do in order to be able to edit the vlog and shoot the vlog so it's not more so that i just stopped it's more that i don't have the time if i want to do anything else at the same time can you please show your setup for family stills and videos what is the secret behind your consistency and please keep making motivational videos Thank you. I will. I can't really say that I have a secret or that there is any specific formula that I'm trying to follow. What I do is just make things that I enjoy doing. And I think that that is one of the things that keeps up the consistency for me to make videos and do things that I want to do. If you just try to focus on the views and try to focus on growth and try to focus on everything else, than having fun, then it's gonna start to turn into a core and you don't want that. Doing something because you want to do something, that is what should be the core in everything that you do. What do you think will be the next big thing on YouTube? It used to be B-rolls. It's always very hard to try to think of what the next big thing is going to be. But if I had to say something, I think it's probably going to be more about being you and being true to yourself rather than trying to do something that has worked for someone else. Why do you have the focus on posting reels and mention of growth there, but not around your YouTube shorts? Well, I'm making this as sort of like a case study. Here in Sweden, we make absolutely zero dollars on Instagram reels. So there's no monetary aspect, but if you think about it, followers is a currency for brands. So in a way you do make money from it because you can build up a bigger brand. You can make money from products. You can make money from people actually knowing my brand, which is the Peel brand and the Prime Gear brand. So in that sense, I'm trying to see the bigger picture rather than just the short term gain of traction. Do you think your background in fitness has helped you to become a more disciplined filmmaker? 100%. Should I start posting content or is it even worth it anymore? This all depends on what you want to do. If you want to start posting content, then heck yeah, you should definitely start posting content. If you are only in it for the money, is it worth it? I don't know, you tell me, because there's not gonna be a monetary aspect for a few years when you start out to post content. In a perfect world, what would your lens arsenal be? To be completely honest, I have the perfect lens arsenal for my daily vlog in my bag right now. Where are you traveling to in the next few months? I would love to travel again. I would definitely want to go back to the United States. Honestly, I don't know if I'm gonna travel anywhere because we're trying to save up for a house. I have a lot of things on my plate right now that I need to focus on and like double down on. But once that is done, I might just head over to the States or to North America, at least. Why did you went bald? Well, when you reach a specific age, my young man, you'll know why. And trust me, it's not a choice. Did you ever feel pointless before the poker B-roll got viral? I'm gonna say both yes and no. I wouldn't say that I felt pointless, but I felt like a nobody. And I think the difference is that being pointless is something that you only can feel unless you absolutely do zero things here on planet Earth. You always have something to live for. There's always a point as to why you're awake today. But I remember the hardest struggle when it comes to making videos in the beginning because I felt like, why am I making these videos? But the why for me was always for me because I wanted to get better at speaking English. 
I wanted to learn about filmmaking. I wanted to make better videos. It was always about me, not about anyone else. How do you find all the time to create the amazing videos? You're superhuman. Well, thank you. I've been thinking about this a lot and I think that when it comes to my job, it's about creating videos. It's about making YouTube videos. It's about making Instagram videos. And if I can make those videos during my work hours, then I have succeeded. And if I have more time for my working day in order to get the work hours in, then I can just make more videos. It's kind of that simple. Can you maybe do a complete office tour? Because all of the rooms that you built in the last years. I'm going to try to see if I can do a, like a really deep dive into that sometime next year. How did you know when the moment was right to quit your job and become a full-time creator? Honestly, I did not know that it was the right time. I just knew that I didn't want to spend any more time on my previous job. It was mainly because the work that I was doing was kind of like infected by negative people. And the more time that I spent there, the more negative I became. And that was something that I felt that I didn't want to become because I tried to become a better person. I tried to become a more positive person. So I just wanted to get away from the job. But something that I think everyone should keep in mind is that with each day that passes, an opportunity for you has slipped away as well. How much has your setup cost you since you started filming? Probably a lot less than you actually think. Are you planning to make a course? Mm, nice one. I'm actually working on a Final Cut Pro course that is going to be more about how I do things and everything that I do in order to make my videos the way that I do them. Do you believe the environment that you are working from has an influence on creativity? A hundred percent. One of the reasons why I decided to buy a crap load of Nerf guns and make sure that my man cave felt like an actual man cave that I wanted to be in was because I wanted to be inspired each and every day when I got to the studio. And I think that the second that I don't feel like I'm actually getting inspired by the place, I'm gonna have to do some changes because otherwise it's just a place, you know? So yes, it definitely matters. When are you gonna finish up that sleeve tattoo? I'm working on it. It's probably gonna be during spring. All right. Peter from Sweden, saying goodbye.